Shabbat Shalom Aleichem, and welcome to Black Gods of Yahweh Media. How do we love Yahweh? With all our minds, with all our hearts, with all our souls, and with all our might. Praise Yude Wave, Yahweh, and praise Yude Wave Beit Noom Sophie Yude Wave, Yahweh Ben Yahweh. I have a lot of stories and ideals that that I have on the back burner to do videos. I have a collection of things that I've put together and a collection of thoughts that I have to share. However, every now and then a situation arises that pushes a particular teaching moment to the forefront. That happens. And here is one that I saw recently. Now, when I do content, once again, it always refers to what's going on in our world and in the world of true Israel, but it ties together in scripture. That's one of the things that Black Gods of Yahweh media is about. It is the media of what goes on in the world and in true Israel, the so-called African-American, which ties together in scripture, and it's generally the last days. There's this viral video on TikTok of black men coming together, being positive with black boys, respectfully dressing in suits and being professional. Now, we know that in true Israel, we are supposed to dress as our ancestors did, on earth as it is in heaven. However, we're still a part of this world until those days that we come into rulership. So being professional and carrying yourself in a certain way is to be dressed casually, to be dressed professional. And there's nothing wrong with wearing a three-piece a two-piece suit, as opposed to sagging your pants and having your hat on backwards. You know what true Israel's biggest problem is outside of the belief of Yahweh and Yahweh ben Yahweh is they hate each other. When you go to this TikTok video, there's nothing but hateful comments and 99.9% .9 of it is coming from people who look like them. How can we move forward as rulers of the earth when you don't like your own kind? This is something that's not talked about enough within the wider Hebrew Israelite community. Many of our people are going to be destroyed and judged just because they hate themselves. The Messiah said, you love everybody except you. When you read the comments in this video, it's from men who support the LGBTQ, black men. It is from black women who are pro-gender and anti-black male. These brothers are not talking negative about white people. They're not talking negative about women. They're just coming out being positive and joining together. Do you want to know why there are no self-sufficient black communities? It's because black people, the so-called African-American, who is true Israel, they hate each other. Stupid Judah. Those that don't have knowledge of themselves. Do you want to know why we cannot get away from being stuck under the Democratic Party and politics? It's because you hate yourself and you want someone else that doesn't look like you to rule you. How can true Israel, Judah, how can you lead? How can you move forward? and a new generation of people when you have so many of us that hate each other. 
This is the reason why that on the day of judgment, many of our people are not going to make it simply because of this reason. You can't take Israel into the future of being the leader of the 12 tribes and the world when all of the people who are supposed to rule have no respect for one another. Let's take a look at it. Salakia. Let's go to Romans 9 and 27. Romans 9 and 27. Esaias also cried concerning Israel, though the number of the children of Israel be as the sands of the sea, a remnant shall be saved. For he will finish the work and cut it short in righteous, also meaning in the name of righteousness. Because of a short work will the Lord Yudei Wave make upon the earth. Many of the group that we call the two thirds is the so-called black American who hates each other. This is something we're not talking about enough. It is so bad. Because a lot of our people put their sexuality and their gender above their own kind. It is so bad that you have many of these deranged individuals when they find out that God Yahweh is black and the prophets is black and there are rulers in heaven. They're not going to want to have nothing to do with it. It's that bad. It's so bad that if you don't have someone, a European ruling over them or you don't have someone who is anti-pro-life, meaning they want to have sex with their own gender, they're not going to want nothing to do with heaven. That's how bad our people are today. We have allowed our enemy to warp our minds until we can't even come together on social media without getting all the hate from our own kind. This is really a problem. It's one of the biggest problems that true Israel has today. We need to talk about this more. Love thy neighbor as thyself is you. And this is a big problem. This is Black Gods of Yahweh Media. I want to say peace. And shalom until the next video. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ben Yahweh.